All right, Money Watch tonight, we're talking about wine enthusiasts. You yes. know, all, all the best people with vineyards in their backyards are still working to turn their love of wine into a business mm -hmm. after a ban was lifted last legislative session, allowing commercial wineries here in Washoe County. Kai Sisson shows us how they are hoping to soon be able to cash in on this multi-billion dollar industry. Jason Schultz basks in the beauty of his backyard vineyard. Grapes are starting to turn. We call this the raisin. He and his wife, Deborah, have over 400 vines at their home in Spanish Springs. Their operation, Twin Mustang Vineyard, exists out of pure passion, constantly caring for the grapes to try new wine variations and growing strategies. It seems to work with this variety. And you just tie it like that into a knot. All this work, so hopefully one day they can sell their wine. We're sort of kind of uh, stuck in the middle right now. Last year's legislative session lifted a ban on wineries in both Clark and Washoe County. So the owners here at Twin Mustangs Vineyard hope to one day be a commercial winery. That was passed. Now it's getting at the local level where the cities and the counties are, are you know, making it blend with their uh, codes and uh, amendments that they have. And we're right now in the process of doing that. As of 2013, over 7,000 wineries existed across the United States, and only four of them were in the state of Nevada. Something one nonprofit says will change in the coming years because of the expanding interest in grape growing and winemaking. Because of all these backyard enthusiasts, they've kind of created the climate and the visual uh, growing prop, uh, properties for the wine industry in Nevada. Not to mention, retail wine sales totaled $36.3 billion in 2013. The kinds of industry it can make for all of, has made for many of these states, and Nevada needs to get on board. As one of the larger backyard vineyards, Twin Mustang is hopeful they will soon be able to apply for a business license. We've been working on the county with that as well. They've been very responsive, and I think we're, we should, within the next month or two, have it uh, all ironed out. But until then, they continue to share their homemade wine and growing methods with others. A lot of people will be able to come and pour their own wine so that people can see what home winemaking tastes like. Nevada Vines and Wines is organizing a self-guided tour this weekend of 10 backyard vineyards all over the area, from Mogul to Mount Rose. They say grapes grow really well in Nevada's dry climate, and the tour is an opportunity for them to share with others how they too can have a backyard vineyard. It gets people the idea of what can be done in the area so that if they want to join in, they can. Covering Money Watch, Kai Sisson, Channel 2 News. Oh, I want to try some Nevada mm. wines. And you can, actually. The Nevada Vines and Wines Backyard Vineyard Tour is happening this Sunday, August 7th. It goes from 1130 to 330. It's followed by a wine tasting at the Garden Shop and Nursery on Mayberry in Reno until 6 p.m. Tickets, by the way, are $25. And we've set up a link for you to get those tickets. Just head to our website at ktvn.com and click on the blue News Links button.